Okay, what are you guys complaining about with all this homework? Seriously, this is a piece of cake. Come on, I'm just kidding. I've got some fun things to unbox. Let's talk about some of the homework challenges. It's time for nap time chat. Da -da -da. 1.30 Central Time every single day. We come on here and talk about something. Today's Saturday. I've got, I came home from Vegas. <laughs> I was in Vegas yesterday in my mind for pretend. I was supposed to be in Vegas. So some of you guys were on yesterday with us helping me figure out. Jamie helped me figure out what to wear, how to dress up, how to go Vegas style. So we did that. That's over. I'm back. I'm back home. Evan's home. And anybody that's complaining about homework, I don't like, I don't know why this is so hard. I mean, this is cake. Seriously, not. Seriously, not. It's not. He was at his dad's last week. So this week, well, I mean, this past week. So today we're catching up and like going through all the stuff to see if he got it done. And I'm going through the emails and going through the messages. And I'm like, oh my God, this is going to be a long week. <laughs> hey, Jamie. I'm like, we got to get a schedule together. Do you guys have these challenges? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But I realize it's not easy. I am joking because we're just now starting to get grades, right? Are you guys in that same boat? This was our first week of schoolwork for grades. So we have to stay on it. And there's what, six different classes and emails and Schoology and depending on where you live. Um, then we've got the littles and the littles we've been doing schoolwork with for a while, but that's different. So we're all in this together. We all have become homeschool moms. We're gonna figure it out. And I'll tell you, if you don't know this, my background is teaching. I have a master's degree in education. <laughs> Believe it or not, I used to be a school teacher. So it does not come easy even for those of us who used to run a classroom of 26 kids. It's a different ball game, is it not? Teaching your own children, figuring out life and school and work. Hello, okay, let's talk about some things. Are these cute? Do you love these? Do you want one of these? Tony, did you order this one? I do not sell these. I am giving them to people. Why? Because y'all need to drink some more water. Y'all need to drink some more water and it's self-care Saturday. So here's one little thing you can start doing for yourself right now. Drink some stinking water. Can you read that? It's backwards, I'm quite sure. See if you can read backwards. So, Thinking about continued ways to help people like lift their spirits, help you start feeling better. Um, do one small thing that makes you like feel accomplished in the chaos of what this life is that we're living right now. Forget that, just in the life that we live always. So we're starting a water challenge to drink water. It starts on Monday. I gave three um, cups away. Amanda Land made these and I've got another friend making me 10 different ones. And I um, did a contest yesterday. It's over in our private group called The Clean Eating and Healthy Living Crew. Go join that group, it's a free group. All we literally do in there is share ideas for like food recipes and healthy living and now we're doing a water challenge in there. So jump in there, the actual challenge starts on Monday. We're doing lots of giveaways. I'm gonna be giving away cups, water mugs. There's ones with straws, there's ones that are like 32 ounce ones. There's 20 ounce ones, go to bed. All different ones throughout the two weeks and y'all have seen enough of this. We're doing some other bonus challenges in there. Okay, so Tony said she prefers a buttercup. This one says drink up buttercup. That's what this one is. They come in different colors. Who said they want one? Alicia said she wants one. Alicia, you're in the challenge, aren't you? So um, you could wait to win one. I don't know how many total I'm giving away. I don't, I like bought as many as Amanda had in stock and then another friend had 10 and um, we've got them with different writing, different sizes. I just bought what I can. I do not sell them, like I said, but you can contact the people who do if you don't want to wait to win. Um, I'm doing another contest tomorrow. That's it, said Tony. This is it, this is it. I'm doing another contest tomorrow inside of our group. And guess what else I got? I got some sparkling water. Now, this is one of my new favorite things. I already love bubbly water, but you know what I got from Amazon that came in the mail today or yesterday? A variety pack of bubbly water, a variety pack. Now y'all know I live on the fizz, but I've got to mix it up. And I've got to get in some just plain old water. I like sparkling water because I like fizzy stuff. You can do like naturally flavored water with some herbs or some fruits or something. But anyway, I don't know if this is gonna count for the water challenge, but it's gonna count for right now because I'm thirsty. And this is peach. 
Jeremy's coming in. I just saw the garage, so you'll see him in a minute. Okay, let me show you what else I got. So self-care Saturday, my suggestion is do something little, do something small, drink some water, head over to that group, the Clean Eating and Healthy Living Crew, join our free water challenge. It lasts two weeks. You just have to drink 64 ounces of water. There's gonna be lots of bonus contests. Y'all know I'm gonna make it fun. I'm gonna be giving lots of stuff away. Not just my favorite fizz, other stuff. Pamper Chef stuff, earrings. Thought I saw the door. Look what I got in the mail. Totally off. Oh, wait a second. That was really misleading. This looked ginormous in, oh man, this is the same piece of crud I already own. All right, I'm disappointed. I ordered a new ring light because, does anybody use a ring light? This is like basically the same plastic crap I already own. This one cost $37 instead of 12. <laughs> I was thinking I got a better one. This one did come in a pretty case. That's exciting. I saw Aaron Townsend, I think you're the one that posted in our Edwardsville Moms group about the, the ring light because I'm gonna plug it in and you guys can see if all of a sudden I look better. <laughs> this stand is a little more substantial for sure. The stand is substantial for sure. The actual lights, it's questionable. That's crud. It's the exact same. This is what I already own, only it's smaller. Oh well, a ring light. Okay, so Alicia, what a ring light does is it puts, I don't know if I have a plug though. I don't have, a, I don't have the part to plug this in. It didn't come with that part. A ring light, if you ever like see people, I don't know, it just makes you look better. <laughs> it's a light that will go, like if I, had this, if I had this all hooked up, it would be on a stand. And then your little phone hooks onto it like this. And then you hook your phone on and the white, like the light behind the phone makes you look better. <laughs> That's what I know. If you're doing makeup videos, it would be really good for that. When I do my um, live party, Jamie said $37 ripoff. It already fell apart. It already fell apart. The $12 one or the $13 one I bought on Amazon, I actually am probably just as impressed with, only it didn't have the big stand. I really want like the $300 ones, but I've been holding off. Okay, um, what else did I say we're gonna talk about? Homework challenges, you're all gonna be okay. I get you, we're gonna come up with a schedule. We're gonna figure it out together. The super cute cups in the water challenge. I just think it's fun. I've talked about it all week long. I really hope you're inviting your friends. I hope, I had a dream. Hey Dylan. No, go to bed. Go to bed. He can hear me, so he's having a hard time staying in his room. Um, I had a dream, but actually I was kind of awake that there would be 1,000 people in our clean eating and healthy living crew. It's a free group. It's about accountability, support. It's about healthy living, but it's not about perfection. It's about like, what small changes can I make? We are doing this water challenge in that group and I, and I have a goal for 150 people to do the water challenge. We were up to like 80 something last night. It doesn't start till Monday and I'm gonna be doing another contest for more cups tomorrow. What else did I get that's new? Um, okay, this isn't very exciting, but you know what came in the mail today? This, in this time that we're living in right now, is kind of exciting. This came in the mail today. I got two big bottles of sanitizer. I got three little bottles of sanitizer. And I got some disinfectant concentrate that I have to figure out how to put it into this bottle. But my child's just in there crying. Nap time, he doesn't nap at nap time. Normally I'm hiding in my closet so you all can't hear this. Somehow I, I do some amount of this into here and then it's gonna be, instead of using the Lysol spray, this is like a non-toxic EPA certified disinfectant. So, I'm gonna figure out how to do this. It kills 99% of bacteria, viruses, and yes, it works on the coronavirus. Anyway, so isn't that kind of exciting? I mean, right now, like we're all excited about disinfectant hand sanitizer, quite honestly. Um, okay, so, self-care Saturday, do one small thing. I talked yesterday in my Vegas trip just a little bit about this, but y'all, if you could just find one small thing in the midst of everything else that you can do for yourself, do that thing. Sometimes for me, it's doing a face mask in a bath. If it's adding in some water, oh my gosh. See, like when you got screaming kids all day long, like literally there's crying and screaming all day long in my house. I just need you to know that. If it's ever quiet, it's because I have like walked away and locked them out. 
like three rooms down so you couldn't hear them banging and kicking on this door and it, if I was on this door you'd hear it but I'm like one more door away <laughs> seriously it's a lot of fun around here so I know y'all feel me right one small thing and now we've added in trying to figure out high school homework so anyway I don't remember what else I was gonna um, share with you guys at nap time chat but I'm excited for the people who are joining the water challenge I hope it's fun I hope it's a positive distraction I've got to go help that distraction down the hall figure out what he's he literally is like losing his mind over something right now and I guarantee it's like a toy he can't find <laughs> it's gonna be simple it's gonna be small but to him it's huge so I'm gonna go help him figure that out all right join our water challenge take care of yourself do something for yourself today drink some water put on a face mask throw on some mascara put on some fake eyelashes throw on some nail stickers wash your hair shave your armpits do one little thing just one little thing and all the rest can go to everybody else because such is reality after you do one little thing, you might find like you deserve more and you might do two little things, but let's start small. All right, join the water challenge. Have a great Saturday. I'm gonna clean up my mess. I'm gonna go play with my crud ring light and see if I can make something of it and try to figure out how to put my disinfectant together. Somehow this is gonna become my Lysol replacement. So, all right guys, bye for now.